while before the game. Oh. She was very excited, but I think she's going to be happier after this type of performance. Tell us a little bit about what you knew going into this game, uh, different position, and then uh, what you're looking forward to after we celebrate the family. Well, I knew coming in this game, they had probably one of the best rushers outside of us. Um, so I knew I had to, you know, be on my P's and Q's for sure. You know, outside of my position, it is what it is. You know, um, uh, I, I knew uh, once uh, the situation arise, I may have had to play tackle. I haven't played it since high school, but I was like, you know what? Played it once, I can play it again. But, um, you know, I, I got great preparation this week, a lot of help from the defense. I want to shout out like CJ Hicks, um, JT, Jack, um, Arvell, all those guys that really helped me try to get my feet back at tackle, try to make me uh, as prepared as I can be. But uh, it's great to win in these type of environments. It wasn't easy. We uh, had to get out the mud a little bit. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's a win, it's a win column. So uh, that's what we're happy about. Donna, what's the hardest thing about making the transition from left guard to left tackle for the season? Uh, it's the different personnel you go up against. You know, at guard, you're going against guys who are about 300 plus. And, and when you pass that, you take two steps and they're running into your face, trying to bull rush or work a move on you. At tackle, man, you're, you're in an eye level almost. And you go against guys who are as fast as, if not as fast as wide outs, you're going to get guys who, uh, you know, probably for me at least, probably 50 pounds less than me, so I just had to get out my stance a little bit and see what I could do on the edge, but, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely not the same position. Um, I mean, I just certainly, I'm not saying I had a Herculean performance by any means, but I had, I had helped by a lot of guys giving me the right spot, but I was proud of uh, what we did on the field, and so we take some momentum to keep going. Well, when, when, you get, when, you, when you get beat, bounce back. I mean, how do you uh, prevent that from maybe breaking your confidence because you had a couple of times where you go and it's a really good play? I mean, uh, it's it's a part of the game. Obviously, I prefer if it didn't happen. You know, I'm a very competitive person, so yeah, I was mad at myself. There are a couple of things I wish I could take back, but at the end of the day, you can't you can't let one play drag you down to have one bad play turn to three. And so uh, we, we do a whiteboard mentality. You know, once you have a bad play, you just wipe the whiteboard and you start fresh and go all over again. So, yeah, yeah, um, uh, there are a couple blocks out there that I were not, was not proud of, but at the end of the day, I, had, I knew I had my, my brothers had my back, my back, and I had theirs. So we just got to keep on going. Why did you guys win the ball better than that? What was the key? Uh, was the key? Yeah. Uh, we just had to drop our nuts. Um, we felt like we just didn't, we didn't run the ball well against Nebraska, obviously. So we're just like, hey man, like we're not gonna make it a two week thing. We gotta run the dang ball. So uh, we we knew with the time we have behind us and uh, the team we have behind us, we're like, bro, we're gonna run the ball. And so once the situation arose where we had to run to win the game, we're like, come on now, like this is where all the, the, the film sessions, all the, the 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 teachings, all the practices we do come down to this. So we're like, come on, let's run the ball. For Carson to step in the way that he did at the park, how impressive was it to see him at the I mean, we all knew he had it. He played, played what, right. 11 games last year. And so we, we knew he was going to be fine. There was no, no concern whatsoever. Carson coming left guard. We knew he was going to dominate. Uh, it's almost like having a second a second coach on the field, on the, on the field like with him and Seth. And so it makes things a lot easier. And he became a great confidence, and he uh, rang, uh, did a good job. What did you think about uh, Will Howard uh, overcoming the two mistakes and, and playing well enough for you guys to get the run? I mean, it's just who Will is, man. It's, he, he makes a, he, if he does make a bad play, he overcomes that and goes to the next play, and he leads the team to victory. Man. Like, uh, we, uh, the, the couple of plays that he did have, we were like, hey, man, it's all right. Like, we, we drove the field once, we'll do it again. So uh, we, we weren't dogging on him. We were just like, hey, man, let's just do it again. Like, we did it once, and we'll just go out there and do it again. What is the worst thing? What would you say? Uh, just being able to win late. You know, um, we uh, we knew that this game was going to be won in the fourth quarter. It has been for many years now. And so we weren't surprised going into halftime when it was close, and we weren't surprised when it was close going into the fourth quarter. We just knew we had to keep on fighting. You, you guys, guys so always win sweet. those games in the fourth quarter against Penn State. How does that happen? Uh, you know, just the game plan and the training we just do beforehand. You know, I'm not gonna say it's some special thing that we do every week, but or it's just something we it's just something that we do week to week. Just going in uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and being prepared for Saturday. Did you have to go, folks? Got to go. What's the uh, no, we didn't say anything important. We knew that we were backed up. We were really on like almost the half foot yeah. line, so we're like. Let's just go one play at a time. No coach a lot comes up to us in a couple of times. Like, hey, just go one play at a time. He's like, don't worry about getting 99 yards here. Just worry about getting the first first down here, and we'll go from there. So when we had the the first play coming out, we got like six yards out of that. We're like, hey, we'll be high. How much fun was that? Trust my final drive. I mean, to salt the game away to do it. That was fun. You know, as an offensive lineman, you know, those are the drives you dream of.
of just just running the ball and, and just winning the game for your team. You know, uh, every time the time I was called either us or by them, the whole defense was like, "Oh, line, well, y'all got this, man. Just keep running the ball, keep running the ball." So having that confidence with our team just translated to what we did on the field. I got it. Thank you.